All right, team, it is your biggest fan, The Real Casadero, and we are back. Real Casadero. Yeah. I say my name wrong sometimes. Uh, but anyway, I'm The Real Casadero, and we are back. And in this session, we're going to close this thing out for sure, for sure, for sure. I think in the previous two videos, you got a good understanding of the type of questions you need to, you need to be asking. And we're trying to direct the, the customer in two ways, right? Number one, we're trying to get information from them. We're trying to, we want to get them. We're not trying. We, we're not trying, okay? I'm, I got to stop saying try because we got to get in the mindset of do. I have. We don't say I want. We say I have. We don't say I'm trying. We say I will, right? So we're doing this. We're in this moment. And so we're at the, we're, we're, we're in the, we're at the office with the customer or, or whatever the setting is and we're asking these questions, right? And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you got to go back and you got to watch the previous two videos, right? But we, we are getting them to assign a value to fixing the problem that they have. We're getting them to define the problem. They're going to tell us what the problem is and they're going to assign a value to it. How much are they willing to pay to fix this thing? So in the last video, we did, we determined like the customer arrived and I thought this was going to be a thousand bucks a month, which is fantastic. That's fine. Okay. Where did you arrive at that number, Mr. Customer? How did you get there? Well, you know, we talked to these one guys at one point, or we were paying this one guy at this one point and they were charging us, you know, a thousand bucks a month. And you say, how come you aren't with those guys anymore? And they may say, well, we still are. And then you can say, well, why are we having this conversation? There must be something that they're not doing that you want done, right? There must be some sort of result that you want to get that, that you're not getting, right? And they'll probably tell you this in like the first five, 10 minutes, because when you first get there, you say, why are we talking today? Right? And some people, they just spill the whole beans, man. They'll tell the whole story. Right. But some people, they will go, they will go all, dude, by the time they finish talking, you will know about their entire life. You know where they were born, their wife, their kids, their aunts, their uncles, whether their parents are around or not. You'll know like when they started the business, why they started the business, how they earned their first dollar. They'll tell you everything because nobody ever asks every other salesperson, everybody who has something to sell. They just show up and they're like, yo, I do this thing. You want to buy it? Right. And it, the conversation doesn't go like that. But in the conversation, right, you can tell like they're trying to sell you, right? But when you're asking questions and you're listening and you're taking notes, right, that's different. People don't expect that. Name, name a, a time in your life where you were sitting down with somebody other than a psychiatrist who just really listened to what you were saying. And they were like, hold on, like this is interesting, right? Like I want to learn more. Let, hold, let me get my notebook, right? This is, I may be able to learn something from this. Let me write this down. Nobody does that shit, right? So anyway, so you're asking these questions and, 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 and now you know $1,000. And, 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 and so here, right? There's a whole bunch of different paths you can take, but I'm going to give you a path right now. You can say, all right, so, you know, where did you get this number from? Well, we worked with this other person. What's the outcome you're expecting that you didn't get? Well, we expected X, Y, Z and we got Z, Y, X, right? And say, well, why do you think that happened? Well, I don't know, right? And some people are going to get frustrated with questions and you just have to learn, right? The more people you talk to, you can tell when they're getting frustrated. They're thinking like, man, this motherfucker's asking like 50,000 questions. And then at, at that point, right, if you know, if you know, right, you can say, hey, I can see you're, I can see you, you're, you're probably getting a little frustrated, right? But there's, it's a lot of questions. I, I got you. Um, you know, you want to take a break or if you're uncomfortable, if you're uncomfortable, because I, I just I need to learn about your business. Right. To, to be honest. Right. I'm just I'm just here to help. And I don't want to try. I don't want to try to sell you anything. Right. I just if I cannot help you. I will I will I will try my best to refer you to somebody who can. But in order for me to get there, I have to assess the situation. But if you're uncomfortable, um, I understand it. Are you uncomfortable? How do you feel? What do you think? And they'll tell you like, oh, no, I'm, I'm fine, man. You know, it's, it's, it's been a hard day. It's been a hard week. And it, fuck, like I said, dude, some people that tell you the whole story. You know, my wife threw a frying pan at me this morning, man. My kid fell down the stairs. Like, you don't know. You don't know everybody. Right. But nobody asks about this stuff. Right. No, people don't even pay attention. But right? I can see you're frustrated. I can see it. Right. It's, you know, uh, you want to meet on a different day at a different time. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not you. It's me. Right. This is what's going on. You got to learn to communicate. But anyway, and so it's like, hey, right, 
Okay, I, I, I understand, man. I've, I've had the same thing happen to me. I've had this experience where, you know, I pay for something. I pay for XYZ and I got ZYX. And it was, you know, very disappointing, very frustrating. You know, matter of fact, that's why I started my business. Because I was working for a company and they said, hey, we, we, we want you to help us do XYZ. And when I got there, they were like, hey, we need you to do ZYX. And I would say, you hire me for XYZ. They say, no, we're the boss. We tell you what to do. And I said, no, you're not the boss. I'm the expert. You hired me because I'm the expert. And so I said, this is it, enough. I can help other people grow their businesses. If you don't appreciate, you know what, what if, you, if you can't appreciate my skill set, then somebody else will. I'm done. Um, and then you did go on from there. But anyway, that was, that was my situation. But in that situation, you're like, well, well, how long do you plan on being in business? Well, you know, I, I plan on being in business for like the next 10 years. What are your goals for the business? What do you, well, you know, I want it to be a $100 million business. I want to franchise this thing. I mean, people tell you all their wildest dreams and all their wildest fantasies. Right? And you say, well, do you think that's realistic? Well, yeah, of course I do. Why? Well, because this, that, and the third. You say, okay, all right. So you want to go from here to here. And you're just reiterating, right? I just want to make sure I understand, right? This is where you are now. This is what you dealt with in the past. You want to go from here. You want to go to a, 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 a hundred million dollar business. What's the time frame you want to do that? I want to do it in 10 years. Okay, all right. Now, you may not, be, you may be thinking like, I can't help these guys get to a hundred million dollars, right? And you can say that, say like, I, I, don't, I don't believe that I can help you get to a hundred million dollars in 10 years, but I believe that I may be able to give you a, a start, right? A, a, a good foundation. Uh, how does that sound to you? And they say, oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. You say, well, well, look, uh, can you take out your phone? Uh, take out and, and, and open up your calculator? And let's look at this, right? You want to get to, uh, you want to get to a hundred million, you want to get to a hundred million dollars in 10 years. Um, what, what is, let's, let's, let's divide that up. How, how much money do you need to make per year? Right? You need to make $10 million a year. How much money is that per month or whatever? Right? So, so we have to, so our goal, number one is to get to this first milestone, right? When we get to X amount of dollars a month, then you know you're, that you're on your way. I mean, it's like, yeah. So like, how do you, how do you believe you can get there to that point? And some people, they'll tell they like, dude, like I want to knock down this wall and build this thing and do this thing over here and do that thing over there. Now, now you're in the realm of like contractor. Right? And like, but that's not what you do. Right? You build, you, 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 you're talking to them about a website, but you're learning about all this other stuff. You're learning about their hopes and dreams and these things that they want to do. Um, but at, at some point you're like, he's like, well, you know, I don't do that stuff. I'm here because of the website. Do you, do you see the internet playing any kind of part in this? And they're like, oh yeah, that's why we're talking in the first place. We're talking to you, right? And you know that at some point they thought it was going to be a thousand dollars a month. And you can go back to that. You say, hey, look, right, you know. You mentioned the thousand dollars before. Um, let, let me let me ask you a question. You want to you we 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 know that this is our milestone, right? We got to get to a million dollars a month in order for you to to, to make to 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 be a hundred million dollars a a uh, uh, hundred million dollar company in the next year. Um. And and you know I I can't tell you that I can get you to a million dollars a month, but I can give you a foundation. I can give you a good start. Um. But but reasonably thinking like. If, 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 if we were to work together based on what you know already, like what would your expectations be? Like a reasonable expectation. They say, well, you know, we'd expect to get, you know, an extra five, 10 customers a month, you know, something like that. You say, well, what's the customer worth? Right? Well, you know, one customer's worth a hundred bucks, right? So we get five, 10 a month, right? And you say, which one is it? Is it five or 10? They say, well, you know, five is conservative. So extra $500 a month, right? So $500 a month, let's multiply that. What's 500 times 12? And then they got their calculator out. They're like, oh, well, 500 times 12, that is uh, C500 zero, zero times 1, 2, that's $6,000. And you say, well, you know you're going to be in business for, for another another 10 years. What's 6,000 times 10 times 1, 0? That's $60,000. You say, well, let me ask you this, right? If I, if I, if I were to, to write you a check for $60,000, if, 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 if I guaranteed you a check for, uh, for $60,000 right now, you know, right now, I'll give you a check for $60,000. And, and, but, but I required you to give me uh, $30,000, right? You give me $30,000 and I give you, you $60,000 back. Is that an offer you would take? And most people, 90% of the time, they'll go, yeah, sure, yeah. I give you, hold on, but I give you 30 grand and give me 60 grand back? So yeah, 
right? And so now in their mind, they're thinking about this, right? And then you, then you say, well, if you had to come up with the $30,000, where would you get it from? And now they're thinking like, oh, well, you know, man, I, I couldn't come up with $30,000. This is a hypothetically speaking, right? You know that you're going to get $60,000, right? So, so if you had to, you know, what would you do? They said, well, okay, all right, man. Um, I would, uh, you know, I would, I, you know, I get credit and you know, I take out a loan. I do all this other stuff right? and they'll tell you whether, where they get the money from, right? And you're not going to charge them $30,000. You're not going to charge them $30,000, man. Right. Cause all you just want to sell your websites for two grand. But right now they're thinking like $30,000. Hello. Right. And, and if they're thinking $30,000, right? Like you got this in their head, in their head and you sell your websites for two grand. That means that, that you could, you could potentially, you could potentially sell, you could charge them $2,000 a month for 12 months. You get $24,000, but you got to deliver, right? They got to see some growth, right? You got to be dope, right? And that's why you're asking all these questions. So you know the things that they ran into in the past that they hated and you know what they want to see in the future. And you're determining whether or not you can deliver on that promise. And now you've got a number, you've got a concrete number. Right. And so and so now this one's going to go a little long because I want to close this out. I want to make another video. So this one's going to be a longer video. I think it's probably going to be probably close to 20 minutes. Uh, but if you follow this process, like it will work, it will work. So now so now we know they're like, OK, all right. Yeah, I will get the money from here. I would do these things. You say, well, uh, well, let me ask you this. Right. Like how 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 would you. How would that change your business? Right. How would this like, what would it be like? And you say, well, you know, I could do all those things I wanted to do, right? I could go knock down this wall if I had an extra 30 grand, right? I could go, you know, do whatever. And now they're telling you these things, right? They've all, they've been telling you this stuff all along, but nobody asks a question. So nobody knows. Then nobody knows what people want to achieve because nobody asks any questions. And so, and so you say, all right, that, that, that kind of makes sense. So, so let me share with you what I do. Is that is that okay? Do you do you mind? And they'll be like, yeah, right, yeah, sure, right. And sometimes, sometimes, right, they'll be like, you know, um, well, actually, actually, some sometimes they'll be like, hey, right, like, can you help me do that? And then you ask them like, do you do you can I share with you what I do, right? And this is a little. I'm trying to truncate this because I don't want to take up a bunch of your time, right? But I'm gonna put together a whole course in the Code Three Six Five Startup Lab where you can. Like we're, we're, we'll really break this, all this stuff down. Uh, I don't know when that course is going to come, but if you sign up now, right, it, it'll be, it'll be cheap. It'll be way cheaper than it will be later on because this anyway, team. So, so now, so, so now you're sharing with them what you do. You say, Hey, look, right. This is, this is the type of service I offer and you're anchor. You have to anchor it to something that they said, right? You, you have to know that the answers that they gave you align with what it is you're selling if they do not align then you don't go any further right you have to you you may have to you may very well have to say well you know look i don't think i can help you achieve those goals um i may be able to find somebody or refer you to somebody who can but that's not you know what i do and so and because you've been because you've asked so many questions they may go what do you do and you say well do you mind if i share um or you say, well, it doesn't really matter because I don't think I can help you, right? Um, I mean, it's up to you at that point, right? Um, but you might as well just share anyway because you 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 have a better chance of, of getting some sort of sale than if you just than if you just say, nah, it's okay, and walk away. So you say, hey, look, right? You know, I build for me, right? This is this is this is my thing, right? I help businesses build profitable websites. That is my number one priority. I don't I don't focus on ads. I don't care about, you know, that's not my thing. I don't do social media. I, I focus on the website. How can I get the website in front of as many people as possible organically? So people who are searching for things related to your business, your products, your services, whatever it is you sell, whatever it is you do. I focus on that. And then when the traffic comes in, when the people start to show up, I focus on, well, you know, or, or even in. It, it, it depends, but a lot of the times in conjunction, depending on the state of the website, um, we redo the website um, in order to convert those visitors into customers, right? And it, 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 it's business dependent, 
So if you're a restaurant, what do you want your customers to do? Right? You want do you want them to book appointments? Do you want them to come in and sit down? Well, like, what is it that you want to achieve? And they'll tell you, right? You just, so that's what we do. We make the we 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 set up the website in a way so when people do find you, right? People in your neighborhood, people in your area, people who are likely to come sit down and eat at your establishment, people who are likely to come and eat here one, two, three, four, maybe even five times a week. Those are the people we're trying to get in front of. Those are not even try. Those are the people we get in front of. And when they get to the website, we direct them to an outcome, right? Either they're either they're going to book an appointment, they're going to order some food. They're going to book an appointment. They're going to they're going to they're going to uh, pre-order and they're going to come pick it up or they're going to order out for delivery. And if they don't do any of those three things, our next step is is to offer them something of value. And you can choose what that is. Right. It can be a 10 percent coupon. It can be a two for one. It can be whatever. Right. But we'll work with you to figure that out. We'll give you our recommendations. But it's ultimately your business and you have to determine what you want to use as an offer in order to entice people to at least try you for the first time. And if your stuff is fantastic, if it's excellent, you know that when they try you once, they're going to keep coming back. They go, man, right? That's, that sounds amazing. Right? And you say, that's, that's what I do. And then they go, well, how much do you charge? And this means that they want to work with you. And now you have information. And you can say, hey, well, look, right, you know, we already talked. And you said, you know, reasonably, right, reasonably, um, you were thinking, you were thinking like $1,000 a month. Uh, and, and you know, we had this whole conversation where, we, where, where, where I, I, did, I did this scenario with you where you say, you know, hey, six, six, you, would, you would give me 30 grand if I could give you $60,000 back. Say, well, yeah, yeah, we had that conversation. Say, well, look, yeah, I, I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to promise you that. Right. But I will tell you this. I believe that we can get you an additional five to 10 customers month over month. Um, as long as you, you're willing to work with us and me in my, in my particular business, right. There's no contracts. So like we don't do any contracts. Um, and we'll work towards that end, and, you know, and to be honest, with the results we've gotten with 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 other businesses, um, we you, you, it'll probably be more than five to six, five to ten customers per month. And also, right, um, and I didn't mention this before, the 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 offer that we implement, right, in order to to get information, you can expand on that in the restaurant. So when customers come in, if you get their name and their email address, you can add them to a database, and you can continue to to nurture them as customers and make sure they keep coming back. Um, and our, our goal is to create a thousand true fans for, for our clients and a thousand true fans. They can sustain a business at a very healthy rate. Um, so imagine, let's break this down, right? If we, if you got to a thousand true fans and they were eating here, uh, two, three times a week, what would they, what would they be worth to the business? They'll, they'll, they'll tell you, right? They'll, they'll take out the calculator and they'll do the math, right? Or maybe they've done it in their head already because they, they care about their business and they understand their numbers. Um, and then so, hey, a thousand people and there are a hundred, a hundred bucks, a thousand people. And I mean, that's that's a lot, right? A thousand people eating at a restaurant once a week or something like that. But anyway. Right. And so once they have that number, you can say, hey, you know, uh, we start at typically we start we start at, you know, three thousand dollars a month. Um, but I understand that you, you've been through some stuff in the past. Right. So how, how about this? How about we got to get everything set up. So let's just focus on month number one. Right. Month number one. We'll start at three thousand dollars. We'll get everything set up, and then in the second month, we'll start. You know, uh, we'll start to optimize the website or redo these things or build out this thing over here or whatever, right? And we'll do that month to month, um, and, and until you're established. Uh, and they may go no, or 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 right. You could say instead of just charging two grand, you could say, hey, look, right? We'll build out this whole thing. We'll give you the SEO starter kit. We'll set you all all up so you show up um, in search results. And we'll optimize everything so you show up in maps and all these other places. Um, and that, that typically starts at $4,000. How does that sound? And if they're logical, they've gone through all this stuff. They want to be a $100 million company. They want to, you know, all these different things. They'll go, okay, that makes sense. Right? And you say, when would you like to get started? That's it. And they'll tell you. I'm going to start right now. I'm going to start yesterday. Right? I'm going to start next week. 
right? And if the, and if the, if the answer is anything other than now, then you got more questions to ask. But we'll save that for a different series, team. I'm your biggest fan, The Real Casadero. That is how you determine price. You don't figure it out. You let your client figure it out. If, they, if you didn't understand any of that, message me. You can find me on social media. Um, leave a comment below.